crafty babes. It's Andrea. I'm back with a look inside my 25 December favorites for 2019. I decided to do things a little bit differently for December daily this year. I decided not to go the traditional route of recording a story every day, but instead I made a list of 25 things I wanted to make sure that I captured or things that I loved about December and that I hoped to capture. Um, and I loved the fact that I could go a little rogue and I did. I have no idea if there's 25 things in here. I didn't number anything. Um, I loosely followed the checklist that I had made for this project and kind of whatever happened, if it was a favorite or if I loved it and I wanted to uh, document it and put it in the book, I did. So here is a look inside my 25 December favorites. I am going to try to zoom in a little bit and see if we can get a little better view of these. And I'm going to try to avoid the glare for you guys. Uh, the things I used mostly were um, the kits from uh, Humble and Create, Citrus Twist Kits, Kelly Perky, and um, In a Creative Bubble. So those are like the main ones. And then I also have a lot of vintage stuff from Paper Pippi. So I am, don't know that I'm going to remember all of the things um, as we go along, but I will do my best. And obviously if you have questions, you can ask in the comments and I will be happy to let you know um, who it is or where you can get it. And of course I will leave links for all this stuff and we'll see how we get on. Uh, I'm also using a Citrus Twist Life Crafted album. This came with the December kit and um, I loved the smaller size. Normally I would do a six by eight, but I really wanted to try to condense things this year and this is how chunky it is. So I can barely even like I'm squeezing it and it's really never going to be flat. I did consider getting a second one. Um, but I think once this sits on a shelf or goes into the Christmas bin, that it's really not going to be that big of a deal. Um, I might maybe get like a little elastic band and, and, um, that way it can be held together just a little bit. Okay. Anyway, let's get started. This is my intro page. And, um, this was an, in a creative bubble, um, page that I trimmed to, um, have a little bit of a border around this other Buffalo plaid page. And, um, this is a traveler's notebook size page when it came down to it. Um, and then I used a couple of Carrie Bradford stamps. Uh, I used the outline and the solid of those the big numbers. And I forget the name. Oh, it's right there. Outnumbered, outnumbered XL. So I got, um, the outline and the solid, and then I made a little 25 December favorites and, um, just kind of clustered up some stamps and some washi for my intro page. And then behind that is my temporary list. So this was my initial, um, 25 things I wanted to make sure that I captured, or these were just my favorite 25 favorite things about the season, about December. And I actually put this, um, I wanted to put it through my typewriter, but with the typewriter, I can, I can't really guarantee, um, how long things are going to be. And so what I did instead was I took the PNG image of this digital card from in a creative bubble and I used, um, a computer program and typed a text box that I wanted and knew that it would fit. And I made it fit on right onto the card or the image. And then I printed this to size. And then I just did a couple of cluster, a little cluster here, a couple of hearts, just adding in some color. Um, my main colors you're going to see kind of vary, but they, they are going to be very traditional. So it's going to be bright greens, bright reds, um, along with some blues and yellows and pinks, uh, like I normally do, but there's going to be a lot of vintage flair in here. So for example, um, there's this cute little piece of vintage book paper. It's called to have a Christmas house. Um, that's just got very cute little decorating tips and stuff. This came in the citrus twist December kit. Um, I just turned it sideways and then folded it in half. I could have done some other things with this, like added an envelope or put some, um, other embellishments on it, but I really liked that it was already pretty decorated. Um, so I left it. This is a cut file from 
Whimsy Fox Crafts. This is the December cut file. Um, it, it comes, I bought her physical files because I'm not friends with my silhouette at the moment. Um, but it comes with the little tabs attached to it. So then all I had to do was just place it right there inside of my album. This is just a large TN sized photo. When I did my photo template, I made sure to, um, make a template sized for traveler's notebook photos so that if I wanted a, a larger photo, I could just easily pop it into that size template. And then when I printed them out, I would just cut them to size. Um, so I would basically decide as I was printing what sizes I would want things. And it worked out pretty well. So here, all I did was I stapled a vellum star from Studio Calico into the center of my cup and then stamped a, uh, a stamp right over top of it. I of course had to document my Buffalo plaid wall. I was so, so, so pleased that I found a way to bring it back this year. It is still up and, um, I'm pretty sure I'll leave it up for a while. It's really not Christmassy to me. It's more of like how my house should look. <laughs> so, um, if you do not know about this plaid wall, um, you can, uh, head over to my Instagram. I have several photos of it and how it looks with Christmas decorations and um, what I've done with it since I've taken Christmas down. Uh, so here I used a wood, um, a wood paper background. This wood paper, great. This wood grain paper is actually found in issue number nine of Retro Hit Magazine. It's one of the printable pattern papers. I just did a little clustering up here with some yellow and buffalo plaid. This buffalo plaid heart is actually from my. Um, digital set called retro hip Christmas with, um, it's on the illustrated faith print and pray shop. So that is available too. And then I did a little cluster down here with some, uh, Buffalo plaid tissue paper and a little doily and some tags and, and washi tape. And then on this side, all I did was just bring a little bit of red over from, um, there's some red in this little cluster down here and a red paper clip up here from Felicity Jane. So, um, I just wanted to bring a little bit of red in, but since the yellow was already in a triangle and the plaid was already in a triangle, I really just needed some red. And that is that page. Here is a page I made with my retro hip Christmas set from illustrated faith. I used, um, a, a washi strip and I used the tree. And then this is one of the cards and stars that I, um, designed for that set. And this is just about me getting Christmas out and like starting that decorating process. Um, and then here I used a couple of extra little things to make like a little banner and then actually ran this through my, uh, sewing machine. And then I added a little bit of washi down here to the bottom just to give the tree a little place to rest and also to bring some of that pink and red down, um, just so that it felt balanced. And I love in this album size that I could, um, still mix and match sizes and pocket sizes. So this is a TN size, but this is a three by eight with, um, you know, with, with two up. So I love being able to, um, kind of use it as a junk journal. And that is really what I ended up doing. Um, for some of the pages, like I did stick with pockets, but I did have some things come outside of the pockets as well. This is uh, a little bit about the decorating and how uh, the house looked after I got done. Um, I have been trying to use this little banner from the Fala Law collection for like two years now. Um, finally found a wonderful place for it. And it just, I feel like it went really nicely with this, um, the font on this little mug and the red was the perfect, uh, shade. These are the things that I, <laughs> that I look for when I do my, my projects. Uh, this is a Kelly Perky card. I do believe, um, her, the black and white and red kit that I got from her would just scream to my name. I loved all the red and I loved it that it was the right color. Um, and it was a lot of fill in the blank stuff, which was really fun. And I can't wait to show you some of that here in a minute. The next page here, um, is just a photo of kind of what the tree and the wall looked like as, um, we spent a lot of time on the couch doing some work and some snuggling. Um, and then on this side here is a, just a vertical or horizontal photo that I made vertical of the fireplace and above the TV. So there's just the decorations that went up this year. 
And on the other side, I use this four by six card. Um, this was actually from Echo Park and I bought a sheet of their vintage kind of like advertisements and cards, and then also a, a large sticker sheet. And it had all this kind of very mid century modern, um, design to it. And I just loved the colors and, um, the vibe obviously. So next to that, to coordinate, I just made this little like collage page. Um, it really was just me, um, kind of getting into the groove of decorating or, um, scrapbooking for Christmas. And, um, I really just wanted to use up some of my favorite things. I actually did this, um, very early on, um, just so that I could kind of like get my, get my December daily juices going, making a, a lot of fun color choices and just being able to use some of the stuff that I was really excited to have picked up this year. Uh, one of the very first things we did was make cookies and we actually did this, uh, right around Thanksgiving. So this, the, the freedom I had with this album is that, um, we didn't make cookies in December and that's okay. We made these for December for the holiday and it felt like Christmas already in our house, um, because I decorated on November 1st. So <laughs> it was really nice, um, to just kind of have some freedom with that. So here I used humble and create, um, papers and, um, they coordinated really well actually with some of the in a creative bubble, uh, stuff from this year and last year, just kind of like the more muted corals and reds. They went really well together. And then, um, I stitched on these alphas to the bottom here and just made like a little cluster. And then I recently added this little page and it's from a book that I found at the Monterey antique mall. And the colors were so perfect to go alongside of this page. And it's of them baking with their mom. And I just thought that was so perfect. And the book itself is basically like a traveler's notebook sized uh, book. And then on the other side of that page, um, originally was, was this. And so the opposite page of this book was this teal color. Um, and so it actually turned out to be a really perfect uh, color scheme for the other side as well. And then I just added, um, a little vintage wax pocket and a couple of extra vintagey things from, um, some little paper kits, paper ephemera kits I purchased. Uh, and then these two things actually. So this education study is a vintage stamp I found at the antique mall as well, along with, um, several of these milk bottle caps. Uh, one of the other really fun things that I loved doing in this size album is using the six by eight, uh, pocket structure, but then folding it in half so that it fit inside the album and having like some interactive elements. So here it feels like maybe this is the only thing going on, but then when you flip it up, we've got details about the cookies. Um, and I love this page so much. Um, I just love the simplicity of this card. And then also, um, I did some white stitching around the edges so that it, um, the white kind of popped off a little bit more. And then, um, the cookies that we make are actually a Martha Stewart recipe that I've been using for like probably 20 years at this point. Um, and so I wrote it down, um, just because I thought it would be fun to capture that. Moving on. Sometimes I just wanted to use supplies and I didn't have any photos or any stories or anything like that. Um, and that was again, the freedom that I gave myself to just kind of make this, um, whatever I wanted. And so I used, uh, more of the, um, humble and create collection because, oh my gosh, it's, it was just, I was so surprised at how much I gravitated towards it. I had the intention of going kind of more bold and more uh, contrast, like the Kelly Perky kit being kind of black and white and gray and red. But when it came down to all the supplies I ended up having, um, I just gravitated toward this one the most. Um, and I just, I don't know, it's just gorgeous. So, um, here I just added some 
added some stuff and this was actually a four by six card but because the width of this album doesn't allow for a six inch card to be placed this way i just trimmed some of the edges off left enough room to punch some holes in it and then added just a little bit of um, embellishment up here and then added a stamp on the other side, I did the same thing with another card from the Feed Your Craft Kit, which I also picked up and, and then used a um, one of the two by two pages. And this may have been one that was already this size because um, I do have some of those, but also um, you can take the six by eight one and then just you can trim the side. But here I just used some vintage postage stamps and some vintage tickets and then um, kind of just threw in some colors based on like the pinks and the, the blues and stuff like that. It was really fun to just kind of use a bunch of color. On the other side here is where I recorded all of the albums I was listening to. And then here I used, I think this was the LE Studio Jane font uh, and then just used two different colors and kind of alternated them. And I like that um, they're running into each other. It makes it a little bit more fun, a little less perfect, which I'm kind of striving for not being so, <laughs> not being so accurate all the time with um, my design. And then uh, this is actually one of the items from my Retro Hip Christmas kit as well, along with these stars. Um, so it was really fun to kind of find places to use those because they matched up super well with like the, the green colors in all of the album covers. This is an unfinished page. I am now realizing that. I think I can go back. I have still some um, Christmas supplies out that I am keeping around so that I can do my other. I am still doing like regular weekly documenting just for like the regular everyday pictures that were not part of this album. So I think I, if I have some supplies out still, I will just come back and fill this in with just some, some supplies. Um, but on this side, I listed my top 10 favorite songs. This is a Kelly Perky three by eight card. Uh, here are some finished cookies and, uh, I grabbed a couple of the freebies from Carrie Bradford when they were available during the, I think she did like December 1st through December 12th. Those things are still available in her shop. They're just not free. So um, some of the, sometimes I would miss one and I'd, I'd pay a dollar for it because it was really cute. This was one of those cards. Um, and then I just threw it in my typewriter and typed a little bit here, did a little clustering. One of the other uh, things that I picked up kind of last minute, I guess, it wasn't really part of my initial uh, collection. Uh, of scrapbook supplies for December daily. I'm having a hard time formulating words, um, is Tracy Reed's comfy, cozy. Are we, uh, it had just beautiful reds and greens and mints and plaids. So it really felt like it, um, would have been really cohesive with the rest of my album. So I definitely picked up some of her TN pages and embellishments. And one of the, this floral was from that as well. Uh, here, I actually used a stamp set to, to, to <laughs> oh my gosh, I used a stamp to create my own background. This stamp came from the Citrus Twist kit. It was basically just all Christmas sayings um, and Candy Cane Cutie was one of them. So I did like a generational stamping. So I would do like a full right off the ink pad and then I would do, you know, I would stamp on this directly after I stamped with the full color on so that it gave it a little bit more um, interest instead of just all the bright red. Um, and just because he loved candy canes so much this year, um, he kind of ate them a lot. So <laughs> that was really fun. Uh, okay. Snuggling. Oh my gosh. This is one of my very favorite pages. I was really in the groove. I had been kind of making pages all day and this one it was just super fun. Um, so let me see, there's a lot of layers and stuff going on here. So I used a white tag and then I stamped some Carrie Bradford stamps. Um, she has one of her Christmas sets has these little houses. And so I picked three and I stamped the outline and I stamped the solid. And then, um, I stamped snuggle on a separate piece of paper and then fussy cut it out and used foam tape underneath it to kind of make it pop off a little bit. Um, this is another stamp set from Kelly Perky. 
And then, or wait, maybe now I forget. It's either Kelly Perky or Fiji Craft. Totally forget. Uh, and then use some of Carrie Bradford's stamps over here. She has a whole stamp set, um, with paint splatters. Um, let's see more paint splatters over here. And then I did like kind of just like a, a stack here of different stamp sets. Um, Carrie Bradford, I think possibly Kelly Berge <laughs> here. I, I don't know why I'm trying. Um, and then a, a, a strip of stars and then a little, um, stitching stamp from illustrated faith to basically just everything needed to revolve around my favorite blanket, um, which is this Mexican blanket that I, um, absolutely love to snuggle with. And Charlie loves to snuggle too. Um, okay. So then I threw some more little paint splatters over here to try to like pull some of that black in over here. And I just love it so much. Uh, I had to record, um, all of the treats that we ate, or at least that I ate and loved this year. This was such a super simple, um, page, just a couple things. Um, I use a really light Brown ink here. Let me see if you can see, um, on this. Yeah, you can see it a little bit. Um, it's just a grid stamp. And then I put my uh, alpha stamps right over it. And that is actually, I stamped on, actually, I think, did I stamp directly on? Yeah, I stamped it directly onto the photo because I use a matte photo paper. It's really easy to stamp on top of the photo itself because it's not slippery. Um, and it's a lot more dry and a lot more porous. So it just goes right on there and doesn't move around a whole lot, which is great. And then here I just used um, a corner of a book pa paper um, and these star are little, no, they're not stars, they're hearts. <laughs> this is um, an art start from Alley Scraps. Um, and then just threw a big label onto a pattern paper and did a little bit of journaling. Easy, easy, easy. Um, this was a Kelly Perky card that I cut down to size and then I outlined one of the December words in just in black ink. I used the uh, bag from Starbucks to create this page. Um, what I did was basically I disassembled the whole bag and took the handle off and then I scooched the handle down, retaped it on the inside and then folded some of the excess, um, parts of the bag over the back to kind of secure it. And then that I had a, a nice flush page, clean page to work on here with just some, um, a little cluster and a Instax photo of me holding my favorite winter drink, which is a caramel apple spice. By the way, it is not seasonal. It is available all the time. And it's basically just apple cider, but they put a caramel sauce inside and top it with cinnamon or the cinnamon goes inside and then you can have whipped cream on the top and it's really delicious. Um, and it is again, not seasonal available all the time. Uh, this is another one of those really fun Kelly Perky uh, pieces in her kit that is like kind of a fill in as you go kind of thing. And I think I'll go back in and fill in, um, the rest of these if they apply, but I just added that to the back of the Starbucks card so that, um, it wasn't as ugly. So basically I took the back of the bag and kind of covered up those seams and then just paper clipped this right there on top. This is another one of her cards that I use as a little um, interactive piece all about um, your, <laughs> your experience with Santa's. Um, folded it over here so that it fit and then just paper clipped it. And then here you can basically kind of see that it pulls open. Um, here I used vellum and made like a little, like a addressed envelope. Um, I really wanted to use this little Santa um, and then use some things up here to make it look like it went through the postage. Uh, all I did here was just throw in a little three by eight. Uh, this is a Kelly, no, this is a Carrie Bradford, um, printable. I just made it very simple and, um, stamped this December moment. And then the date down here with my eight digit stamp and added a little wooden star up there here. I did like kind of more of a gritty cluster kind of thing again, um, just so that I really wanted to use up a bunch of stuff. I just, I did, I had a lot of stuff this year and I wanted to, I wanted to make sure I used all of the things that I was really excited about. 
And this is another one of those that flipped out. So this is basically all about the tree finally getting decorated. I had the tree up forever, but it took me a while before I um, really knew what I wanted to do with decorating. And it really wasn't that, you know, that high on my priority list at one point <laughs> until it was. And then I just did black ornaments and um, buffalo plaid ribbon all around. On the other side here is um, Alyssa came to visit me for my birthday and we, um, we got to just hang out and go see Susanna in Monterey and it was just fun. We scrapbooked, worked on our December daily. It was a blast. Great weekend. Anyway, I just used things here that I felt like, um, matched with our outfits a little bit. Like this green was really nice and the kind of brighter colors in her flannel looked super good. Uh, this is, um, mostly humble and create this little, um, card here along with all this stuff this pattern paper back here. Um, I just did a little bit of layering and this ended up being a really fun page too. Let me see if I can show you some of these layers. So I have a book paper here. Um, I stitched a tab on top. There's some vellum back here as well and a label. And then this cute little, um, vintage card from 15 acres. This, that was part of the illustrated faith coming Carol kit extras. So that was super fun to finally use some of those. Uh, here is another humble and create card. And I, um, used it as just, um, kind of an in-between. Um, and then on this side, I took all of these colors and made, um, just made a little cluster here. This is a, an envelope. There's nothing in it, but I could have put like a note inside or some receipts or something, but I really just loved the blues matched so well. And then, um, also just used any colors I could find that kind of felt like they, um, coordinated and did a little clustering on the other side. It's about wrapping. So I really got two good wrapping sessions in, and these were the main, uh, wrapping papers that I use, but you'll see when we get a little further in, of course, I always add on, um, I didn't actually buy any new paper because I had so much new paper from last year. Um, but these are just the ones I started with on this particular day. And then, um, you'll be able to see all the others that I used. So here is everything all wrapped and under the tree. I just added this cute little Coca-Cola, like, I don't even know what this is. It's like a, like a tab. Like, I guess it hang, it would hang somewhere like on a shelf or something. I don't know, but it was really cute and the colors went great. Um, and again, I just wanted it to be kind of like interactive and junk journaling. So this is just, um, another couple of views of all of the presents wrapped and under the tree. So as you can see, I, I have like all the planned <laughs> possibilities, um, a couple of, um, boxes that were left over from last year and some vintage, um, vintage replica paper, some different plaids and, and stuff. Uh, this page here is just about us kind of finishing up with the Christmas shopping. We went, we did everything on Amazon. Basically. Um, I went to target one time for some incidentals and to Walmart one time for some small things and stocking stuffers. And it was glorious. Uh, this is about our trip to see, uh, Susanna. And I got to use my retro hip Christmas set again and used like three hearts and the number three, um, just to kind of symbolize that it was the three of us. The first time the three of us had actually hung out in person, which was really super fun. My two besties. Uh, I had one of the things I got at the antique mall was a big set of uh, numbered stencils. And so I used that here. And if you can see, I don't know if you can see that, but the four is actually cut out of the brown and then the plaid is underneath. Um, I could have done it the opposite where I just cut the four out of the plaid and placed it on top, but I just kind of wanted a little bit of different dimension. Uh, and then I just paired it against this, um, photo of us. This was actually taken on Thanksgiving, but it's the only picture, um, of the four of us that I remembered to take. So that was fun to just pull in some greens and main, mainly just use the green and the plaid and the, the brown. I used another, so, um, another version of that December documented cut file from, 
uh, iris is just this plain one without the tabs on it. And what I was going to do was I was going to cut inside all of these pieces of paper, but I started to just kind of line them up so that I could see how much space I needed. And then I realized that once I did a few of them, I was like, Ooh, I really like that. I like the raw edges sticking out. I like that. It's kind of haphazard, haphazard, haphazard. Anyway, I really liked how it looked. So I stuck with it. And on the opposite side of that is, um, a Christmas bouquet of flowers that I found at Trader Joe's. It was just so perfect with the reds and the greens and the sprigs of, um, real like pine tree. It was just beautiful. Um, and I just loved the colors for this journaling. I actually just typed on my typewriter onto sticker, clear sticker paper, and then put it here where, where it felt, <laughs> where it felt right. Um, cause I originally ran the actual photo through my typewriter and I couldn't get it to line up because it was so far down to the bottom that once I got to a certain point, the typewriter wouldn't advance. The roller wouldn't advance because there was nothing for it to like hold on to. So I reprinted the photo and then typed on clear sticker paper instead. Um, here is a little look at like basically the evolution of the wrapping paper. Um, so this was kind of everything all wrapped. And what I did was I actually printed it in a traveler's notebook size. And then I also printed it with my new square Instax printer. Um, and then I couldn't decide which one I wanted to use. And I kind of just placed the Instax photo, like right on top of the larger photo to like, just kind of put it aside. And then I was like, Oh, that looks so cool. It's like a, a zoom in version of it. And then I decided to just do a before and after. So I had, um, I always save a bunch of the scraps while we're kind of cleaning up. Um, and so I put them inside of this little envelope that I made. So I just cut a paper to size and then cut like a little pocket and glued it, um, just threw little scraps inside here. And then I have the after picture. And then I did want to save one of the tags just because it was cute. And it was one that was new from this year. So on the other side of that, envelope is just another piece of pattern paper with a couple of things attached to it. And then here is a little fill out thing. It's a holiday checklist. This is again from the Kelly Perky kit. Um, and it's basically like checking off things and dating them and then making a little, um, making some notes about them. I thought that was really fun. And then I'm just sealing it back up. December checklist. Here is um, really the only thing that got kind of dated, I guess. I mean, I did date some things based on when they were, but I didn't make that a huge deal. Um, but on Christmas Eve, um, we always give the boys a, a gift and they get to pick whichever gift they want under the tree. Obviously, if we know it's like one of their big gifts, we'll say, you know, pick a different one. But he, um, he got a game. He got his um, Pokemon Sword and Shield. He got the shield. No, he got sword. Gibson got shield. Anyway, he brought his blankets and pillow down and wanted to play it on the big TV while I sat um, on the couch, did some, some computer work and some design stuff. And all of a sudden I noticed that there's nothing happening on screen anymore and he has fallen asleep. <laughs> and then it was so cute because like about 15 minutes after that, he kind of stirs and he looks at me and he goes, I think I fell asleep. And then he turned over and fell back asleep for like another almost two hours. So he was clearly pretty wiped out. Um, so then I've recorded a few of the movies that we watched and all I did was, um, just head over to, um, Google and just grab, um, whatever free photos I could find. Um, and these are the movies that we watched this year. We really loved Klaus, Klaus. That's how they pronounced it. Such a good one. And then here I just did like a couple of tickets and, um, made a little title there. This is about the point where I'm getting to the end and I'm really ready to be done. Um, so everything from here is going to be very simple. There's not going to be really anything that's, um, <laughs> magical or special or anything. Um, but here I wanted to, um, use this home for the holidays card. And I paired it with this card that has a little bit of yellow in it. And I just was talking about winter naps because we were all always by the fire. Charlie especially loved to take, take naps by the fire. Um, and this was one particular time when I was really tired and resting myself. 
uh, this is Christmas Eve where they are opening those gifts. And I just, um, I have had this card in my stash. This is from three years ago, a, uh, the reset girl kit. And I've been hanging onto it. Like I need to use it. And I finally, um, finally used it because the reds felt like they matched and it was about kind of just them opening their presents. Um, I had to document my Christmas nails. I started using color streak nails, which is what I'm wearing right now. And I really missed having fun designs. Um, so that was really fun and paired it with this card from Tracy Reed. And on the other side here, um, my very, very favorite Christmas shirt now that I picked up, which is Ralphie. And it says, you'll shoot your eye out. <laughs> um, I just, um, one of my other things was talking about this hoodie that I picked up, um, in the fall because I knew that it would be perfect for just Christmas. And it was, <laughs> it was perfect. And it's my favorite. Uh, getting the ham is something that Matt always does really early on, um, Christmas Eve. And I time stamped at seven o'clock because that's about the time that he got home. Um, and we started to break open the ham. And then I flipped this out here and this is actually Christmas morning. Um, so I was able to get some shots of the boys and, um, we, I don't know if you can see this, but these socks I got for us, I got the boys each a pair and me a pair in pink and it's, um, Charlie's face, their pop socks. And they were very, very excited about their pop socks. And so I used the blue um, parts of, of this card. Uh, this is actually one I designed for the illustrated faith kit. And I thought that it was really perfect because my heart really was glowing because my loved ones were near. And I just thought that it was great. They were sitting together, opening up, um, a couple of things together and just made my heart super happy. And, oh, what happened here? I was supposed to put, oh, there's something missing from here. I'm going to have to, I think maybe I cleaned up too early. Okay. I'm going to have to go back and figure out what that was. I'm sure it was a humble and create card. Um, so I need to go back and figure out what was supposed to go there when I probably cleaned up. Cause I think I was doing a couple of different things and I may have got distracted. Anyway, this is just, um, a photo of kind of what the house looked like Christmas Eve before bed. And then this is the very last. And here I forgot to do something too. What I was going to do here was do um, the end. So I think I'll, I'll still go back and, and put the end here in um, some alpha, st um, alpha stickers. So that will be the end. And what I did was I took a, um, I just took a landscape um, photo of all of the mess from Christmas morning. And then I just split it in half when I added it to my photo template. And then I cropped out the other half. And so basically you just print it into photos and it lined up and that's it. Nothing else. So that is my finished December daily, technically <laughs> uh, 25 December favorites. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at this album and I hope you were um, inspired along the way. If you have any questions, as always, just let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to answer. Thanks so much, guys. I hope you had a merry, merry Christmas. Bye.